welcome everyone to the opening race of the NASCAR Miss Grand Cup Series 7th campaign here at the Daytona International Speedway. 36 cars line up the running order here today at this 2.5 mile super speed for a 15 lap dash to find out who will be your victor and who is going to be able to tame the Daytona International Speedway. And while Corey LaJoy, he's got the best of the starting spots here today from the front row alongside of Eric Amarola. And we'll see if they will be able to stay up there at the front here today and claim themselves or one of them as victor here in Daytona. And of course, this is the only the third time in a row we've actually ran Daytona as the opening race. In the last two seasons, it's been Clint Boyer and the Martin Truex Jr. who are the two victors here today. And only Martin Truex Jr. can get that second Daytona 500 win. And he is starting up towards the front here today. But six drivers have been crowned champion of the past six seasons of the Miscraft Cup Series. And the last one was William Byron, who was able to take it home at the Bristol Motor Speedway with a head-to-head -head battle with Tyler Reddick. And of course, William Byron, he's got uh, 35 other contenders in this race, and he is starting right in the middle of it. I mean, uh, 21st year today, he is your Miscraft Cup Series champion. A lot of work for him uh, cut out uh, here today in Daytona. Going to have to make up a lot of positions if he wants to get up to the front and try to win himself a Daytona 500 trophy. But uh, right now, sitting pretty dang good uh, with a championship trophy and a couple wins under his belt in his career. But what about Corey LaJoy starting on pole here today for the first time in that number seven Spire Motorsports entry? Uh, he is alongside Al Marola, and they are looking for some really good racing here today to try to keep themselves at the front. Same thing goes for Martin Truex Jr., who is starting fourth here today. He was your uh, season, uh, Daytona 500 winner of season number six, and he is a... Uh, not got very much work to do to stay up at the front of the field, um, except for block some cars coming up from behind him. On International Speedway, Corey LaJoy, of course, is on the front row with Eric Amarola and Martin Shrek Jr. right there in a row number two. But what about some of these guys back here? Bubba Wallace, first time in the 2311 racing entry in the number 23 car. How about Christopher Bell in the 20 for this season? Eric Jones is in the 43. Alex Bowman's in the 48. Chase Briscoe in the 14. And, of course, back behind these guys, Daniel Suarez, starting 26th here today in the track house entry. McMurray, Haley, Alfredo Priest, a couple of names, want to get themselves a win here in the Miscraft Cup Series. How about Timmy Hill, Ty Dillon, Quinn, Alfred Garrett Smithley? We'll see if those guys would get anything done here today as well. It'll be a 15 lap race here today in Daytona with a 36 driver field. And of course, it's a two and a half mile racetrack. And your previous winner was, of course, Martin Truex Jr. And the cars roll off. Engines are fired. And a lot of new phases in new places here this season. Also new rules, like the, the choose cone rule for restarts. And we'll see how these new implementations to the Miscraft Cup Series will change the perspective of the season. Who will be able to crown champion? Well, let's begin this brand new story of season number seven here today in Daytona. And off turn number four, green flag is flying for Corey LaJoy. And down into turn number one with a good push from Chris Buescher. He will go to the lead now, side by side for a second. Amarola going to fall back a little bit there. Here's Chris Buescher onto the outside. He's going to try to take the lead away from Corey LaJoy. He'll do that to turn number three. And here come those two. Joe Gibbs racing injuries on the outside lane. Mark Trix Jr. and Denny Hanlon. But here comes Chris Buescher to lead lap number one of the season. Down to turn number one, here comes Martin Truex Jr. and Denny Hamlin to the inside. They're going to fight for the lead now. Truex to the lead. Whoa, Hamlin slides, and he's going to right the ship, and he'll merge back onto the racetrack. Three wide with Logano and Kurt Busch, and he'll somehow save that race car and hang on to third on the inside of the lane. And Martin Truex Jr. now leads lap number two. He's now jumped up to the outside with Chris Buescher and Kurt Busch, and Ryan Blaney and Denny Hamlin also up to the outside lane. They look like they're going to just try to get up to the outside lane and the log some laps here in Daytona, trying to get towards the end of this race as clean as they possibly can. And, of course, everyone trying to jostle for position and get up onto the outside lane. They're three wide in mid-pack, so good luck to them. We cross the line. Martin Shrek Jr. leads about five or six cars are single file on that outside lane. Busher on the attack behind the 19. Oh, he's going to get on the outside wall. Here's Kurt Busch and Blaney down to the inside to avoid him. And Chris Busher tapped the outside wall and he begins to fall backwards. And Kurt Busch down to the lead with help from Ryan Blaney to the inside. And Kurt Busch leads lap number four here today in Daytona. And look at that number one machine go. And here they come into turn number Oh, trouble. Big crash in turn number two. Corey LaJoy's on the outside wall. Amarola's there as well. And the big one happens in the middle of turns one and two. And a lot of good race cars taken out of this race early here in Daytona. Denny Hamlin, Martin Strix Jr., Chris Buescher, Corey LaJoy. Oh, Kyle Larson and Austin Dillon are involved as well. And you see the 23 and the 6 littered in the grass as well. And heavy damage on the 10 of Eric Amarola. And the red flag is out for the first time this season. And a tough, tough crash for a lot of guys. Out in turn number two as the AMR safety crew gets out to them uh, as quick as they can. 
Let's see what happened here. Heading into turn number one, it was almost too quick to notice as it happened. You see the 10 car had a really big run through the middle, and it looked like Corey LaJoy might have been trying to block, and that hooked him into the 10 car, and they went up into the outside wall. And uh, here it is again in turn number one. You see the seven drift up the racetrack, probably trying to get in front of that 10, and hooked him into the outside wall. How about Martin Shrek's Jr. slamming on the brakes? Nowhere he, Denny Hamlin could go as he was right on his bumper as it happened. And then they came down into oncoming traffic. You see uh, Bubba Wallace up under the air uh, as he hit the grass down there. The splitter definitely destroyed in that machine. And uh, you see Kyle Larson, Dylan Newman. They were just trying to avoid the crash by going onto the apron. And uh, man, everyone just piled in there heading off to turn number two. And uh, the 10 car is on the wrecker, and the 23 of Bubba Wallace is on the hook and heading back as well. Ryan Newman will be able to continue. It looks like minimal damage to that Oscar Mayer machine. And here's the first iteration of the choose rule. Kurt Busch goes inside. Penske goes outside. Have a Harvick and Reddick to the inside. And we'll see how these choices will affect these restarts here in Daytona. Uh, very interesting to see how these guys will restart here. Green flags coming back out. Penske Rimmers on the outside lane. Bush on the inside. And that outside lane does not get going. And Kevin Harvick's in the clear into turn number one. And out of the back straightaway, so does Tyler Reddick. He'll go to the outside. And he'll, they'll try to block in front of him. But Tyler Reddick's to the outside of the four cars who run on board with him in turn number three. And he's on the outside looking for the lead here now. Off turn number four, but Kurt Busch will lead lap number seven. And across the line, here's T Tyler Reddick side by side with the one of Kurt Busch. He's up against the outside wall, going to try to get a really good run off turn number two. He'll do just that. And Tyler Reddick's going to put a nose out front and lead here in Daytona. But don't look now. Three wide on the outside lane is Ty Dillon and Kyle Busch. The Joe Gibbs Racing uh, affiliates on the outside lane. How about that number 96? And Logano gets split three wide with Kyle Busch going back to the middle lane. And here they come, side by side off turn number two. And the 96 of Ty Dillon to the lead in Daytona with help from Kyle Busch. And down to turn number three. He's clear with the lead. And up against the outside wall is that outside lane. No challenge. And Ty Dillon's going to lead his first lap of the Michigan Cup Series. And that eight of Tyler Reddick trying to get to the outside, but it's not going to work. And here comes Kyle Busch back to the back bumper, the number 96 out of the back straightaway. Side by side are those Busch brothers. And... Falling back on that outside lane, trying to regroup is the aid of Tyler Reddick with help from Anthony Alfredo. They're on that third lane trying to regroup, and there's trouble right behind him. One car up and over, and it's Ryan Blaney, and he barrel rolls out of turn number four, and the caution is back out, and Eric Jones, Alex Bowman, and it looks like Chase Elliott are involved in this crash as well, and we're back under caution here on lap number 10 in Daytona. And a massive crash entering turn number four brings out a red flag again here in Daytona. And Ty Dillon leads, but let's see what happened here. Entering turn number three. Oh, man, it looks like the nine car tried to get to the inside of Alex Bowman and uh, hooked him down into the number 12 of Ryan Blaney, which sent him tumbling towards the outside wall. And see here once again, looks like, yeah, the nine went down, dove low, trying to get to the inside, and uh, the 48 uh, seemed to have the same idea, and they just came together there. Entering turn number three. You see it one more time here. Yeah, right there. Yeah, man came down into Eric Jones and Ryan Blaney. Those two had a hard impact with the 48 of Alex Bowman, and the 12 car got caught uh, by his right rear tire on the front nose of the 48, and that sent him up and over. And see right there, and luckily nobody else was involved as the 12 hit the wall and spun around. Everyone was able to avoid through the middle lane, and it looks like only four cars are involved in this crash, believe it or not. But uh, Ryan Blaney is on the record and heading back to the garage. But that means we're going to be set up for a three-lap to go restart here in Daytona. And the choose rule comes into effect again. The Toyotas go to the inside. And Kurt Busch to the outside with Harvick. And that's going to be very interesting to see how this restart will play out. Ty Dillon will lead us down to the green flag. Three laps to go here in Daytona. And what could be the final restart of this race. And we're back underway. And Ty Dillon gets a whale of a shove from the number 18 of Kyle Busch. And down to turn number one, they're side by side. That outside lane not been good all day, but they're going to rally back off turn number two. Here they come, three wide as Kyle Busch gets passed on the outside and the inside by Kurt Busch and Joey Logano. And Ty Dillon continues a lead now as Kevin Harvick leads that third upper lane off of turn number four. Two laps to go in Daytona, and Kyle Busch going to rally the troops back through the middle lane. They're going to try to get back to the outside of Kurt Busch. They'll do just that, and then make contact. Busch is in the outside wall, and Christopher Bell comes through. He's now looking for the lead on the back straight with help from Justin Haley and Anthony Alfredo. Coming around to the white flag, this time here in Daytona. Chris Burrell out front, Justin Haley behind him, side by side for third. One lap to go in Daytona, Haley up top. Here comes Alfredo through the middle, three wide for second now, off turn number two. 
Chris Rubel going to try to block the lanes as he can. Down the back straightaway. Haley up top. Alfredo in the middle. Dylan on the inside. Into turn number three for the final time. And off of turn number four. Here they come. Bell to the outside. And here comes Alfredo to the end. Three wide. Here they come to the line. Justin Haley's going to beat him to it and win here in Daytona. And what a mesmerizing final finish here in Daytona. Let's see how it happened. They were side by side, three wide racing, and Christopher Bell was trying to block all three lanes. Did a very good job until the final corner. And Justin Haley with the help from the four of Kevin Harvick on that top lane was able to keep up the momentum. You see the 20 car to the inside. He got faked high and then back down low. Pass on the inside, three wide, got into the sucker hole. And with a huge push, Justin Haley with help from Kevin Harvick will win and burn it down here in Daytona. And how about that for our first time winner here to start off the season for the Miss Craft Cup Series. Justin Haley in the number 77 machine takes it home and tough luck for Christopher Bell and Anthony Alfredo who came oh so close and same for Ty Dillon who led oh so many laps here today and Kyle Busch with a lot of damage there after that incident on lap 14 with his brother. And see here the race results here. Justin Haley on top with Anthony and Alfredo. And a very unprecedented top top 10, I'd say. You've got Ty Dillon. you get got Quinn Howe finishing 8th here today. And just outside the top 10, of course, is Timmy Hill. A uh, good run for them. How about Kurt Busch, Garrett Smithley, Michael McDowell, 17th and 18th. Uh, Jamie McMurray in the 40 machine finished 20th. And a lot of good race cars like Kyle Busch, Bowman, uh, Elliot Jones, Blingy, Wallace, Busher, those guys DNF'd. And same for the guys uh, on this final page here with LaJoy, Hamlin, Shurix, Dylan, Amarola, and Larson. All of them were involved in that first wreck on lap five. And the, and the uh, point standings are just about the same here um, in Daytona as they were uh, the results. So uh, uh, no, not much of a change other than uh, the point standings that you'll get. The lead, winner gets 40 points. And second will get to 35, and then it'll cut down consecutively all the way down to the final person in the field. And, well, 36 cars took on Daytona here today, and Justin Haley was the victor. And he came out on top of many other race cars. Thank you all for watching. And the next race comes from the Charlotte Motor Speedway. And we're excited to have you guys come out and see that race. And next time, here in the Miss Craft Cup Series, thank you all for watching. And we'll see you guys at the Charlotte Motor Speedway.